104 now, man. Just Eastern I, I can't tell you how lucky I am coaching you guys. Yeah! Yeah! Hey, you get one takeaway, we'll take over the race and make some takeaways. Yeah! yeah! I want to see my players in the next season in the locker room and be able to look at them and say they're champions. And then you guys are champions. Yeah! Nineteen ninety five, a year of challenge, a year of fate, a year of destiny. The University of Toledo Rockets under head coach Gary Pinkle adopted a new defense, reloaded a potent offense, and acquired a confident attitude that would propel them into the ranks of the nation's elite college football team. Toledo's new defensive scheme, the 4-4, was unleashed upon East Tennessee State in the home opener and the Pirates didn't know what hit them. Second and 17. It's Ryan looking to pass, and he's going to be sacked at the 18-yard line. You can see this new defense right away is exciting, puts a lot of pressure on the quarterback. Well, Tom Amstutz has to be smiling at least after two plays. Offensively, the Rockets unleashed tailback with Sean Tate in what would become a familiar tune. The 5A junior dazzled the Toledo fans, running for 183 yards and scoring two touchdowns. Quarterback Ryan Hujak scored twice and found tight end Steve Rossi down the middle as the Rockets soared 41 to 20. Some may think that crucial games are played only at the end of the season. For the University of Toledo, no game was any bigger than week two at Western Michigan. The teams traded punches for three quarters, and when the fourth quarter came around, the Rockets landed the knockout blow. Touchdown, Toledo. McDonough scrambling at his own 30, and he is brought down. A huge defensive play by Steve Haynes. He's got plenty of time. He throws. First down, Toledo. Pullback trap up the middle. Touchdown, Toledo. It's Eric Engel who scores. On the game, another bad snap, and again, Jay McDonough this time is going to pay for it in a big way. Huge sack at the 46 yard line. For Toledo, Zach looking to throw, fires over the middle. He's got Tate wide open. A Bronco defender falls down, and Tate goes all the way to the 42 yard line. First down, Tate running left. He's got a first down and more. Was Sean Tate to the 20 to the 10. Touchdown, Toledo, look at him celebrate on the other side. It was a huge conference win, one that sent Toledo out west brimming with confidence. Next up, the University of Nevada at Reno, and a stiff test for the Rocket defense. Going against one of the better passing teams in the country, Toledo responded, and in doing so, set the tone for the rest of the season. Maxwell straight back to pass, fires, complete at the 35-yard line, fumble, picked up, 25, 20, 15, 10, and out of bounds, they're going to say, at the 13-yard line. Straight back, and he's sacked. Ball and ball. The football is loose, and the Rockets have it at the 24-yard line. Once again, it came on a quarter blitz. It was unbelievable. About five yards behind him, and it's a quick pass. It is oh, oh, intercepted. Touchdown. touchdown, Rockets. That was a Craig great Deuce. play. He tried to throw a simple out pattern, but the Toledo defender, too, stepped right in front of him. There was nothing between him and the goal line. Seven points. The Rockets forced six Wolfpack turnovers and constantly harassed Nevada's quarterback. 
Maxwell again to throw in trouble and he is dropped back at the 28 yard line. That was a great sack right there by Damon Walker. Offensively, Toledo showed balance and precision, dominating the line of scrimmage against one of the nation's best run defenses. Toss, Tate, right side. Tate looking for some room. He's to the five. Tate is into the end zone for the touchdown. And that was a great block leading the way by Jim Stites. And quarterback Ryan Hujak was deadly accurate. Fake to Tate. Hujak to throw in the end zone. He's got Rossi wide open. Touchdown! The result? Two touchdown underdog Toledo, one going away, 49 to 35. Week four and on the road again, this time at Cincinnati. And the Rocket defense pounced on the Bearcats early, forcing three turnovers in the first quarter. Two backs behind Viverts. He'll toss and the ball's loose. is picked up and recovered by the Rockets at the 25-yard line. And he drops back to pass, looks and fires over the middle, and it is picked off again. Another interception for the Rockets. And quarterback Ryan Hujak was quick to capitalize. Fires in the end zone. He's got a man. Touchdown! James Spriggs in the corner of the end zone. Straight back, looking downfield, wants his favorite target, and it is intercepted by Jamal Bell at the six-yard line. Bell to the 15 and dropped at the 20-yard line. With the game tied and Cincinnati driving in the third quarter, outside linebacker Marcus Matthews stepped up and made the play of the game. Wait a minute, here we got one. He's picked off to midfield, 40, 30. The Rockets are gonna score a touchdown, and guess who it is? Oh, number 30, Marcus Matthews for the Rockets score. The momentum had swung back to the blue and gold, and as the game headed to the fourth quarter, the Rockets began to wear down the Bearcats. He'll get it on the counter tray again. 10, 5, takes in for the touchdown. Talk about going to the well. Hujak rolling to his left, looking downfield. He's going to tuck it up, keeping himself 30, 25. Hujak sprints to the 20, 15. Hujak to the 10, to the 5. Hujak is in for the touchdown. Absolutely unbelievable. The 45 to 31 triumph put Toledo at 4-0 on the season. With three straight road wins, it was time to come home and time for conference warfare to begin in earnest. A near capacity crowd at the glass bowl watched Toledo capitalize early on this fumbled punt. After Tate rambled for an 18-yard gain, Hujak found tight end Steve Rossi for the touchdown. The end zone and touchdown, Steve Rossi. Mark, that was like stealing. Again, we got a little boot action. They, they were bringing everybody. They were, you know, they're playing a real heavy defense on the goal line. Good job on film study this week by the Rockets. And then Ryan dumped the ball to big Steve Rossi for the touch. After a fluke touchdown by the Cardinals, the Rockets found themselves trailing in the fourth quarter and 96 yards from pay dirt. As they had done all year long, Toledo started to dominate the opposition. Sean Tate, the lone back behind Hujak, fake to him. Hujak rolling to his right, looking downfield. He's got a man wide open. That's Rossi at the 40. Rossi to midfield. Rossi knocked down at the 41-yard line of Ball State. That's what I've been preaching about, Mark. That's that play that we were 
that we ran three times in the first half was incomplete. This time rolling to his right, Kujak had his shoulder squared, dumped the ball into Rossi, and we've changed field position and are on the way for a score. Kujak straight back to pass, looking and firing the man wide open. That's Rossi at the 20. He's dropped at the 16-yard line. And it will be fake to Tate. A little dump into the end zone. Touchdown, Rossi! You think maybe we'll do it two times in one ball game, Mark? I can't believe it. Second and three for the Cardinals. And it's a fake handoff to Blair. And he's going for it all. Ball went deep down the field. He's got a man open. And it is incomplete at the 10-yard line. Pass intended for Brent Campbell. Another big play by Clarence Love. That knockdown by cornerback Clarence Love forced Ball State to punt with over six minutes to play, and they never got the ball back. Each way for him, Tate straight up on the counter. Tate's got a first down over midfield into Ball State territory. To love to watch, right at the line of scrimmage. Bujak sends a man in motion, ends in tight. Give to Tate, he's got a first down. Tries to break a tackle, spins forward to the 27-yard line, and the Rockets get the first down and should win this ball game. This one is over as the Rockets spill onto the field and a standing ovation from the fans here at the Glass Bowl. The final from UT is the Rockets 17, Ball State 14. Toledo's Rockets, Roy, one of only nine undefeated and untied ball clubs in Division 1A. Rockets at 5 0, 2 0 in the back. Week six and back on the road again, this time to Miami of Ohio in front of a regional cable audience on Prime Sports Channel. The Rockets explode out of the gate. Dwayne Harris at the nine. Harris with some green. Harris to midfield. Dwayne Harris in a foot race. Explosiveness right off the bat from Toledo special teams. Huzak with a straight drop. Corner of the end zone. Brunswick got it. Exceptional grab. Touchdown Toledo. Scott Brunswick, who's been hurt with an ankle for the better part of this year, went up the ladder to pull in the Ryan Huzak toss. Rockets get on the board first. Motion from Spriggs. Huzak a roll right. Looks at Spriggs, looks at Brunswick, guns to the end zone. Outstanding grab. James Spriggs, touchdown Toledo. Later in the second quarter, Coach Gary Pinkle decides to go for it on fourth and two. So long, touchdown Toledo. 30 yards away on fourth and two was Sean Tate. Broke it, broke it big for six. Tate's run gave Toledo a halftime lead. After a Redskin touchdown, the Rockets tallied another six on this spectacular Rossi touchdown catch. Got it into the middle, touchdown! Exceptional grab by Steve Rossi. He's been quiet all day, but the tight end broke off his route, made the adjustment. Huzak hit him right on time. Touchdown, Toledo. But controversy loomed over Jaeger Stadium when this Jamal Belt interception was disallowed due to a holding penalty. Miami would punch it in, and the game would end in a 28-28 tie. Throwing it right into your living room, and they're fighting it off. Little arm-to-arm -arm action. Well, I don't, I don't know how you call that. The fifth road game in six weeks was against arch-rival Bowling Green. And outside linebacker Craig Dews quickly sent momentum Toledo's way. Hujak straight back to pass. Looks, dumps it off to Tate at the 50, 45, Tate 40 to the 35, Tate to the 30, inside the 30, down to the 26-yard line. Second and goal. And the give is to the fullback who drives to the goal line and in for the touchdown is Eric Engel. It soon became apparent that the Rockets would dominate the Falcons on both sides of the ball. and that tailback with Sean Tate would have a career day. The 5A junior would rewrite the record books on this October afternoon, becoming Toledo's all-time leading rusher.
Pujak would throw two more touchdown passes to Rossi as the Rockets celebrate in large fashion 35 to 16. But we're to the final four now, man. Just Eastern I, I can't tell you how lucky I am coaching you guys. Homecoming 1995 was indeed just that. As Toledo played their second home game in seven weeks, it was a critical first place showdown with the Eagles of Eastern Michigan. And once again, the Rockets struck first. Looking to throw the football, and he sacked, and he fumbles the football, is loose, and is picked up by the Rockets. Brent Parkhill at the 35-yard line. Wide out each way for Hujak. Straight back, looking, dancing, now firing, and it is caught for a touchdown by Brock Kreisberg coming over the middle. Touchdown by 84, Brock Kreisberg. On Toledo's next possession, Hujak burned the Eagles, tucking the ball in and taking off. the south end zone to the north end zone. It's a quarterback keeper, and Hujak's got it. 15, 20, 10, 5, touchdown Rockets on the quarterback draw play. Welcome back to the glass bowl and Ryan Hujak, so he's on fire today. It was 14-0 Toledo, and they weren't through yet. Hujak fakes to his tailback with Sean Tate, fires the football complete, and that is Eric Engel, and he's to the 30, the 20, the 10, the 5, and falls down at the two-yard line. Unbelievable. Eric Engel, after taking the fake, goes to the flat, catches the ball, and then scoots up the sideline for the big game. Hujak to throw. He fires a deep ball to Brock Kreisberg, who catches it at the 35-yard line and is dropped there for a first down. High formation, it's Eric Engel, the fullback. He's got running room, 30, 25, 20, 15, inside the 15, down to the 13-yard line. Eric Engel, the fullback. And it's the give to the tailback with Sean Tate, who kicks it to the left, breaks a tackle, 10, 5, touchdown, Rockets! It was great strength by the little man, busting the tackle. They had him from behind, but it wasn't enough to pull him down. The second leading rusher in the nation just scores his second touchdown in the ball game, his 13th of the season. An awesome display of football had the Rockets exploding, and the Eagles grounded. Toledo had scored enough to withstand an injury to Hujak and a late Eastern comeback with the Eagles driving in the waning seconds, defensive end Steve Haynes made the play of the game. Three wideouts to the right. He's back to pass. Looking downfield. Ball's battered away. Incomplete. Time has expired. And the Rockets win the football game as they rush out to the field. Week nine against Central Michigan, and it was frigid. The weather dictated a defensive struggle, and Toledo's D was outstanding. The Chips finished with just 215 yards total offense and turned the ball over three times. Fake handoff to Massey. Darnell in some trouble, and he's gonna be sacked back at the 18-yard line. Joey Jones in there on the stop. And it's going to be a fake flanker reverse. Darnell rolling to his right. He's tackled in the backfield by the quick guy, number 30, Marcus Matthews at the 28-yard line. He was not fooled by that play. And guess who made the hit? You better believe it. Marcus Matthews and Chad Darnell never saw. Offensively, the Rockets got another excellent game from Tate. 168 yards rushing and two touchdowns. The final road game of the season was history, and a MAC championship was on the horizon. I don't know if 
they're thinking about Las Vegas, Nevada. They need a win in the final two contests of the year to get that done. A regional prime audience looked on as Toledo hosted Akron. On the line, a shot at clinching a tie for the title and the Las Vegas Bowl berth. It proved to be Washon Tate's finest hour. Running behind a dominant offensive line, he piled up over 120 yards in the first quarter. Akron and Toledo in the all-time calling on the sprint left again. Goes it into traffic, picked off. Great dues on the Rocket INT. Dues inside the 40 down to about the 37-yard line. This young man has had a sensational 1995, his sixth INT of this football season. Tate on the draw, inside the five, blowing over tacklers, touchdown Toledo. Washon would finish with over 200 yards on the day. In the process, he broke the single season rushing record and scored two more touchdowns. Tate's backfield mate, fullback Eric Engel, also tallied the end zone twice. Touchdown, Toledo. The fullback, Eric Engel, with the third six point rocket blast off of the day. Off play action. Engel's running free at the 20. Goodbye, touchdown Toledo. 32 yard touchdown shot. Ryan Huzak, Eric Engel, second touchdown of the day for Engel. And quarterback Ryan Huzak went up top for two touchdown passes, but the most spectacular play? Just ask third string tailback and kick return specialist Dwayne Harris. Dwayne Harris again with the call. Got some room to roll to the outside. Good move. Dwayne Harris is gone. Touchdown, Toledo. 60-yard lightning bolt from one of the top kick return men in the nation. Little Dwayne Harris for the Rocket Six. Finally, the moment had arrived. The Rockets were going to the Las Vegas Bowl, and it was time to celebrate. Look at them and say they're champions. And then you guys are champions. There was one more game and one more goal left in the regular season. Toledo needed a win against Ohio University to wrap up the MAC championship, and they got it. In the I formation, tailback is Tate. Sean Tate has the football at the five and dives close to the goal line, and he's in. Guess who? With Sean Tate, carries the ball, diving in for the end zone to get that touchdown. 11.57 to go in the third quarter. Who's that back to throw? Got Rossi again over the middle. They trail 20-15. Huzak hands off to Tate. He jumps over Engel and into the end zone. There was just a Triple option, and Wilson back to throw. Now he's flushed out by Wilson. He's converged and it will be swarmed under back to the 34-yard line. That's Lauren Berkey and Aristotle Wilson doing a great job pinning him down. Oh, well, there's Tate once again. Got a great block and he's got a touchdown. Oh, just an awesome block by Eric Engel. Allowed him to turn the corner, spring it. Like I said, that offensive line, States, Stites, and Johnson, they just opened up a huge hole. And back to pass. Whoa! Huge uh, play by Marcus Matthews. Now Jamie Johnson will wrap up Kareem Wilson, and that's the end of the football game. This time, the Rocket fans join the party. A simply incredible season had finally ended. One that saw Toledo play all of the preseason favorites on the road and emerge undefeated. One that saw the Rockets break numerous offensive records and lead the nation in turnover margin. In the end though, it was about 
One word. One concept. Rob Franklin and welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada. Behind me, the city that never sleeps. Let's go, 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 let's go